Miss Burkett, you had a problem with one of your bathrooms, and allegedly you retained the defendant to do the work on the bathroom. Yes, ma'am. He came up with an estimate for the job, which was how much, sir? It totaled out to be a. Uh... $6,500. Was that $6,500 figure arrived at with her insurance company? It was. So the $6,500 was arrived at with her insurance company to do whatever work. She gave you a $2,500 deposit. Correct. That's what you're suing for back. You say he didn't do the job. You got somebody else to do it. Yes, ma'am. Okay, you're going to tell me why you got somebody else to do it. I want to see the bill from the other contracting company who actually did the job. I want to see the paid bill or your check to the contracting company who ultimately finished the job. May I see it, please? We're still working on the job. Well, then you brought your suit prematurely. I'm not giving you your money back. You got $6,500. I don't know how much you paid to have the job done. Well, they're still working on the job because it took a long time for his because I gave Ms. him. Ms. Burkett, let us understand each other. Okay. Until I have proof of what it cost you to fix the bathroom with a paid bill and your check, you're not getting any money back from the defendant. I'm going to tell you why. What he says is that you got the insurance check that he negotiated for $6,500, which he probably padded, and then he says you fired him and hired somebody else to do it cheaper. So I have to find out how much the other company is charging you to do the bathroom. And it's disingenuous of you to say to me, they're still working on it because you would have had an estimate from them. Nobody pays hourly and materials. You would have gotten a full estimate. This is what I will charge you to do the bathroom. Because you're a smart lady, you already have $6,500 in your hand. He didn't even give me an estimate. He, he didn't never have, me up listen an to estimate. me, he doesn't have to give you an estimate. Because at the time, you didn't have any money coming out of your pocket. Listen, the arrangement you had, as long as the money wasn't coming out of your pocket, said so you make the arrangements with the insurance company. Well, now you have $6,500 in your bank account which is what he negotiated with the insurance company for his fee, and then you fired him. Now, if you got a contractor to do the job for $4,000 in the bathroom, that means that you're pocketing $2,500. And in addition to pocketing the $2,500, you want more money from him. So I'm not hearing your case until I see a paid bill and your check to a plumber or contractor who did your bathroom. Do you understand? I understand what you're Great. saying. Great. So your case is dismissed without prejudice. We're done here. Wow.